Hi, this is Kristen Garlitz with APS EdTech with a quick tip video about how to use the new Google Docs drop down menu. To get started creating a closed reading activity using the new Google Docs drop down menus, uh, start by creating a Google Doc with a text. I copied a text from the internet about Roadrunners. You can use whatever text you want, just copy and paste it into a Google Doc. Once you've got your text here, you're going to find your section where you want to add the drop down menu choices. Uh, if I'm going to do the range here, I can take any of the vocabulary words that I want to create a close reading drop down menu for and click it and then drag it down to the bottom. Let's take live brush and predators for this section. If it doesn't go down to the very bottom, you can always click and then hit enter. Now that I've got a list here, I'm going to click and drag to highlight over all three of them. Go up to format, then click bullets and numbering and then checklist. This will create a checklist so that students can check off the words once they've used them. Now I'm going to go up to the section where the word came from. Click right in between where the words are. And then click insert. Drop down. New drop down. You can call this whatever you want. If you've got multiple drop downs in the same text, it'd be good to call them the sections. You can also just leave it as configuration. For the first option, put something like select or choose so that students know that there is supposed to be a word here. If you don't do this, whatever your first option word is, it's going to show up here and that can be confusing for students. Then you're going to um, type in your words from your choices. Next, and this is optional, you can change the colors. You can always add more options if you've got more than those four. When you're ready, click Save. And now the drop down menu has shown up here. And students can choose the word that fits the spot. To add it again to the next word, I'm going to click where the next word came from, go to Insert, drop down, and then choose the section that I just created. Again, insert, drop down, choose the one. Now this is a completed section where students can choose the word that fits. You can of course switch the order so that it is not as easy for students. And as they choose the words, because I've created the um, checklist here, they can check them off as they've used them. This makes for a really quick and easy close reading activity. Since this is a Google Doc, it can now be assigned uh, where you create a copy for each student through Google Classroom, or you can force a copy for each student through Seesaw or however else you assign Google Docs to your students. Thank you for watching. Check out our YouTube channel for more quick tip videos.